morning everyone, welcome back to Storytime. I'm Daisy Simpson and today we're doing Storytime Day 63. Today's book is a classic. We've got Hansel and Gretel. I hope you really enjoy it. Let's go. Once upon a time, Hansel and Gretel lived in a tiny cottage with their father, a poor woodcutter, and their cruel stepmother. There are too many mouths to feed, their mother told the woodcutter. Take the children miles from home so that they can never find their way back. Overhearing the conversation, Hansel slipped out of the house, filled his pockets with pebbles and went back to bed. All night long, the woodcutter's wife went on at her husband. The next day, he led Hansel and Gretel away into the forest. As they walked through the trees, Hansel dropped pebbles here and there. Suddenly, the children found themselves alone as the woodcutter slipped away, and Gretel began to sob bitterly. Don't cry, I'll take you home, even if father doesn't come back for us. Luckily, the moon was full that night, and the pebbles gleamed in the moonlight. The children found their way home and crept through a half-open window without wakening their parents. When their stepmother discovered that Hansel and Gretel had returned, she was mad. She kept Hansel and Gretel under lock and key all day with only a sip of water and stale bread. When dawn came, the woodcutter led the children into the forest once again. Hansel, however, had not eaten his bread, and as he walked through the trees, he left a trail of crumbs to mark the way. Again, the children found themselves alone. Don't worry, I've left the trail like last time, Hansel whispered to Gretel. Sadly, the boy had forgotten about all the hungry animals in the forest, and in no time at all, the crumbs had all been eaten. When dawn broke, they wandered through the forest. On and on they walked, till they came upon a strange cottage. This is chocolate, gasped Hansel as he broke a lump of plaster off the wall. And this is icing, exclaimed Gretel, putting a piece of pillar in her mouth. Starved but delighted, the children began to eat pieces of the cottage. Quietly, the biscuit door swung open. There stood an old woman. Well, well, said the old woman, peering at them. Haven't you children got a sweet tooth? Come in and eat what you wish. Unluckily for Hansel and Gretel, the sweetie cottage belonged to a witch. They had fallen into a trap. You're nothing but skin and bones, cried the witch, locking Hansel in the cage. I shall fashion you up and eat you. You will do the housework, she told Gretel. Then I'll make a meal of you too. <laughs> Each day, the witch would feel Hansel's fingers. But the witch had poor eyesight, so he held out a chicken bone. Too thin, she complained. When will you become plump? One day, the witch grew tired of waiting. Light the oven, she told Gretel. We're going to have roasted boy today. When the witch bent down to see if the oven was hot enough, Gretel gave her a tremendous push and slammed the oven door shut. Free at last, the children stayed at the cottage eating sweets. After a few days, they found a huge chocolate egg filled with golden coins. The witch is burnt to a cinder, said Hansel. We'll take this treasure home with us, to father. They set off into the forest and on the second day, they found their way home. Their wicked stepmother had left in disgust. Ugh. So Hansel and Gretel and their father lived happily ever after. I hope you enjoyed that. That was Hansel and Gretel. We'll see you next week for a great story. Bye!